Hi guys! And in today's video I want to talk to you about very famous Hloiting Shredded 2 Weeks Challenge. My friend recently told me about this challenge and I saw her body transformation. Then I googled this challenge and I was shocked how many different reviews and videos came up. So I decided that I also want to try it and I also want to record my own very honest review about this challenge. So if you're also interested in this, please keep watching this video. I always try new diets, new classes, and my everyday activity is usually very, very high. Actually, no. no. But I do like my body looks fit and skinny. That's why I picked the hardest probably one, two weeks shredded challenge. And right now I want to share all my ups and downs, all my difficulties and everyday exercise with you in this video. First of all, I want to tell that my height is five and five and my weight was 127 pounds when I started this challenge. Also, I measured myself and my waist was 67 centimeters, which is that much inches. And in the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how my weight changed and what my measurements are. First, today's was the hardest one, obviously. I took too many breaks and I wasn't sure if I'm gonna be able to finish it all. After these few days, my body was so sore, it's crazy. I changed my location from one to another. I worked out in my room, in my living room. Then I woke out on the terrace, but turned out the location was not a problem. So my day three and four, the temperature in New York was ridiculously high, but I was still working out outside. I decided to work out outside and this is my best bet because inside of the apartment it was really, really hard to do. It was not enough space, a lot of distraction, my fridge, my boyfriend, my dog. The day five went perfectly, guys. I did everything that was required, which is nothing. Because day five is your day off. And I just wanna make sure that everything goes smooth by the book. So day five, it was my lucky day. And the end of the first week, I felt like I'm doing actually pretty good and so much better than day one and day two. So I was really inspired and excited about my future results. That's how I started my week number two. Very hopeful. These two weeks, I wasn't really following any super crazy strict diet. I was basically eating like myself, like normal. Here is some salad, here is some snacks, maybe a little bit of cakes, coffee here and there. But um, I still was trying to control my appetite at least a little bit, so I wouldn't mess up my results too much. My second week started pretty good and I was really looking forward to the day nine. I don't wanna mess with the rules and day nine says you have to relax. I would never argue with the rules and I'm pretty sure that this is the key to success. I don't know how about other people, but I felt like I challenged my elbows the most. My elbows were so sore from the plank position. We've been using the plank exercise almost every day. I mean, every day, sometimes even twice or three times, uh, because the plank position was part of each exercise every day, sometimes um, two different exercises. And I feel like I had this sore on my elbows and a little bit of pigmentation, which went away probably in like two months only. But it's just me. It doesn't mean that it's gonna be the same for you. Not too crazy, not to worry about. On the bright side, my abs looked so much better and so more defined that I was almost happy with the results.
Yay, after I finished my two weeks challenge, I felt such a relief, such an achievement, and I was really proud of myself that I actually did it. I finished it all. That was the longest two weeks of my life, and I was really hoping that I'm gonna lose at least 10, 15 inches in my waist. And it's time to see the results. Thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below what you think about this challenge especially if you ended up trying it what was your results please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video